What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you my tips and tricks for walking in heelless heels. Of all the videos that I have posted so far, the one that I still to this day get questions or comments about is the one where I did the runway walk with my eight inch horse hoof heels. So I know that those heels appear that they would be very difficult to walk in, but in all honesty, they're really not that difficult to walk in, but they would be for somebody who doesn't normally walk in heels. If you normally rock regular seven to eight inch stilettos, even six inch, six to eight inch stilettos, you would be fine in this pair of shoes. But if you do not on the normal day or normal basis wear heels that high, then you might have a little bit more difficult time getting used to these shoes. But I find them, I found it very natural to walk in them as soon as I got them in. Now, there are some things that you definitely need to pay attention to and be aware of when you're wearing shoes like this because they aren't your average shoe. They're, they're not. I mean, I, I will definitely say they are a little bit outside of the box kind of a shoe. But as far as comfortability for wearing them, they're not that bad. So if you're used to wearing um, higher heels, then you will definitely be fine if you want to try a pair of shoes like this. So what I thought would be fun is if I go over the different stages to work up to shoes that are like that. So I love heelless shoes. I mean, I, I just think they're so pretty. I love the design of them and I find them extremely comfortable to walk in. So I thought that it would be fun if I went from the basic heelless shoe that honestly feels just like a wedge shoe all the way up to those horse hoof heelless heels that so many people are curious about how it is to walk in those. So without further ado, let's jump into this silly video of how to walk in heelless heels. Let's do it. Okay guys, to help you better understand what it is like to walk in heelless heels, I first want to start with this high heel wedge shoe. This is a 6.25 inch high heel sneaker and although the look of this shoe does not look like the heelless heels I'm going to be sharing with you today, the feel of wearing this shoe feels very much like a lot of the heelless shoes that I'm going to be sharing with you today. Now what I want you guys to focus on on this shoe is the bottom of the shoe. We're gonna go over what I like to call walking space. And the walking space is the point of the shoe that hits the floor to the end of the shoe. So looking at this heel here, all heels have like a little dip in the front and then there's the point right here that hits the ground. From that point back is what I like to consider walking space. So the walking space for this particular shoe is five and a half inches. I measured my foot and it is eight and a half inches long. So over half the size of my foot will be in what I consider to be the walking space for this shoe. And that's why I believe this shoe is so comfortable for me and a lot of other people to walk in. Now, I don't know if this mythology is gonna make any sense to you guys. I'm not a shoe scientist, if there is such a thing. I'm just trying to give you my mythology on why I feel these shoes are so comfortable along with a lot of the heelless heels that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So with that mythology, I want to do a comparison with this classic wedge sneaker with the heelless heels that I'll be sharing with you today. Okay, so we know the high heel wedge sneaker has 5.5 inches of walking space. Let's take a look at a heelless heel. This one has six inches of walking space and this one has five inches of walking space. I feel that these two heelless heels are so comfortable because they have about the same amount of walking space as the high heel wedge. Let's take a look at a couple of more. This one has about five inches of walking space as well as this one. So all of the shoes that I just shared with you have about the same amount of walking space, which is why I believe they are so comfortable to walk in. Now we're gonna take a look at a, a few other pairs that don't have as much walking space, therefore making it a little bit more difficult for walking. Okay, so the one on the far left is around 3.5 inches of walking space. The one in the middle is 3.5 inches of walking space. And then the one that everyone is here for on the far right is two inches of walking space. So of course, the fact that the walking space is considerably less than the ones I showed you in the previous clip, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult to walk on these kinds of shoes. Now I wanna go over the different styles of these shoes as well as what it is like to stand and walk in them. So why don't we just go ahead and move on to that now. 
Now guys, I again just want to disclose that I have no degree or science behind my opinions of how these shoes work. I am just sharing with you my own personal thoughts on the design and what I do to make walking in these kinds of shoes easy. Okay guys, I want to refer back to that high heel wedge shoe as I've been doing the entire video because in my opinion, standing and walking in this shoe is very similar to standing and walking in a lot of the heelless heels that I'm going to be sharing with you today. So if you are comfortable in standing and walking in a higher wedge shoe, then I feel you will have no issues standing and walking in a lot of the pairs of heelless heels that I'm going to share with you today. So what I want you to focus on as I'm standing and walking in these heels are my calf muscles. If you see my calf muscles start to flex, then that means that I'm overcompensating for the way that I'm standing and I should not get all caught up in what design shoe that I'm wearing and just stand as I normally would in any pair of shoes. So with that, let's jump into some of the heelless heels. Okay, so this first pair of heelless heels that I'm going to share with you are by far the most comfortable pair of shoes that I actually own to stand in. I love standing in these shoes. If I had to stand in line for hours, these for sure would be the shoes that I would pick. Now, having said all that, as you can see, this is a very high heel at 7.5 inches and it also angles in quite a bit. But because the platform is so high on this heel, it is extremely comfortable for me to stand and walk in. I do not know the height of this platform, but I know it's quite high. So because they did all of that, it makes this shoe extremely comfortable. Now, the issue with this shoe is walking, as you're gonna see later in the video. This is a very heavy shoe. I'm not sure what materials they used to make it, but whatever they decided to use makes this shoe very heavy. So it is comfortable to stand in, not so comfortable to walk in. So as you can see, my calf muscles are not working in overdrive. So everything with this particular shoe is completely fine. I have no issues. I would suggest it if you don't mind a heavier kind of shoe. Okay guys, so now we're moving on to this fabulous six inch pair of heelless heels. You have five inches of walking space with this shoe and that a little addition of, I don't know, it's like an inch and a half so that they did at the bottom here after they sloped it in, they added a little bit more to the back there. That actually does make it easier for you to stand and walk in this shoe, which is why I would highly suggest getting a pair like this if you're just getting used to heelless heels. But in all honesty, I feel that standing and walking in this one is very similar to standing walking in that high heel wedge that I've been referring back to the entire video. So as you can see, my calves are not working in overdrive. I feel very comfortable standing in this heel. No issues whatsoever. This is a great beginner heelless heel for anyone who is thinking about buying a pair of shoes like these. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the super fun pair of heelless sneakers. I love these shoes. They are filthy because I wear them all the time when I'm chasing my son around the yard. At any rate, they are 5.5 inches in height. They have five inches of walking space, making them feel exactly like those pair of wedge shoes that I've been showing you throughout the video. That's why I included those shoes on the video because although the look of this shoe does not look like those wedges, the feel of wearing this shoe is very similar to wearing those wedges. So I would highly suggest this style of heelless heel for anyone who is just wearing these for the first time. And you don't have to get the sneaker style. They have these in Mary Jane style, several other different kinds of styles that you can get in these shoes. So I would highly suggest this style for any beginner because it very much feels like you are wearing a regular classic wedge shoe. Now we're gonna move on to this incredibly fun pair of circle heelless heels. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, why did she include these on the video? Because these really aren't heelless. In my opinion, they are. Because where it slopes in versus where they put the ring, I feel that qualifies it as a heelless heel. Plus there's no heel there, guys. You're bouncing on a circle, which is totally awesome. There was no way I was gonna pass these shoes up. And as you can see, they're a little bit small for me because I got the wrong size. That's how much I wanted them. Didn't care, I was gonna squeeze my foot in there and make it work. Nonetheless, this particular pair of shoes has five inches of walking space, making it feel very much like those pair of wedges that I've been sharing with you throughout the video. So this would also be another style that I would highly suggest for somebody who is 
buying these types of shoes for the very first time. These are extremely comfortable to walk in. I have no issues. And as you can see, my calves aren't working in overdrive at all. So up until this point, all the shoes feel very much like that high heel wedge that I've been sharing with you throughout the video. Now we're gonna get into ones that are a little bit different from what I've been showing you. Okay, so now we are into these fabulous DIY six inch heelless heels. Now the reason I put DIY on there is because this shoe is supposed to have that extension at the back of it, like that pair of blue ones that I shared with you earlier, and it doesn't because one of them broke, so I just broke the other one off and I was able to stand perfectly, so I thought, awesome, looks great. So this one only gives me 3.5 inches of walking space on it because I did that, so it does make it a little bit different to stand in them, but still not uncomfortable. As you can see, my calves are not working in overdrive. They are just like everything that I've been showing you before, but I would not suggest a pair of these that are in this style if you DIY them because they are a little bit more difficult to walk in being that they have less walking space available. Okay, now we're moving on to this fabulous pair of leopard print heelless heels. They are 6.5 inches in height. They have 3.5 inches of walking space, but what makes this particular pair a little more difficult to walk in is the fact that they only gave you a little over a two inch platform to walk with. Most heels this height have at least a three inch platform, so the fact that this one is an inch below that makes it a little more difficult to walk in because you feel like you're being pushed forward. Although you're, you are actually being pushed forward, but you're not going to fall forward. It definitely makes you feel that way, so you definitely do need to overcompensate a little bit for the fact that the platform is not as high as it normally is with a pair of heels this height. That is why I put these ones next to last because they would be the most difficult to walk in from all the ones that I've showed you thus far. So I would definitely suggest the, this particular pair for somebody who's more advanced and used to walking in heelless heels. And now we are finally ready to move on to the pair of shoes that most of you clicked on this video for. And here they are, the Extreme 8 inch Horse Hoof Heels. Now this particular pair of shoes has two inches of walking space, which is not a lot of walking space at all. As you can see from the way that I'm standing right now, I feel more comfortable forcing my weight towards the back of the shoe. That is just how I feel comfortable standing in these. Now everybody's going to be different. So even though the major support of the shoe is at the front, I feel more comfortable pushing my weight towards the back. Now, I see how I'm struggling right here. I feel more comfortable standing in these shoes when my feet are staggered and like at an angle. I don't feel comfortable standing with my feet together, like, you know, standing straight up like you would with a normal pair of shoes. I just don't feel comfortable standing in these shoes that way. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm just not. So when I stand in these shoes, I tend to stand with my feet like this when I'm standing anywhere because I find it more comfortable to stand like this than with both of my feet together like you would with a traditional pair of shoes. So the best advice that I can give you guys when you put this pair of shoes on is don't be afraid to distribute your weight towards the back of the shoe. You definitely can do that, but just put them on, get a feel for how you like standing in them and do what's best for you. I find it to be best to lean back a little bit, see how I'm showing you guys how I'm doing that here. I feel most comfortable doing it that way, but perhaps you won't. So just put the pair of shoes on like you would with any other shoes. Stand in them as you would with any other pair of shoes. Don't get caught up in the fact that there's no back to the shoe, and you will definitely find the most comfortable stance for yourself in this shoe. Now, guys, I don't have multiple cameras, so I cannot show you that I'm not holding on to anything here. I truly am freestanding and twirling around showing you guys these shoes during this entire part of the clip, and maybe Maybe at some point I'll be able to invest in more cameras so that I can show you guys that I am able to stand in these shoes like this and I'm definitely not holding on to anything. But for this particular video, I did not have another camera available to be able to show you that. So now that we've gone over standing in the shoes, let's get into walking in the shoes. Okay guys, as I've been doing the entire video, we're gonna start a slow kind of a stroll with the web shoe. Cause I first wanna show you how easy it is for me to walk in these shoes. And then you're gonna see me progress to those horse hoof heels that most of you clicked on this video for. So as you can see, I mean, you guys literally, I am putting one foot in front of the other, just like we were taught when we were toddlers, when we learned to walk. 
that's all I'm doing. I'm not doing anything special, nothing different with this particular pair of shoes. And most of the shoes that I'm about to show you is going to be the same thing. There's no secret to walking in these shoes. You literally just put one foot in front of the other. And for those of you not used to wearing heels, it's gonna take a little bit of practice, but you'll get there. Now we're moving on to the heelless sneakers. So as you can see, when I'm walking in these shoes in any pair of heels, my calves do flex and they're working in a little bit of overdrive when I wear my heels. That's like that for anybody that wears heels because you are definitely getting a workout on your muscles when you wear shoes like this. So as you can see, I'm able to walk just like I was with those other shoes. And I do apologize for this walking footage, guys, but I am doing this all by myself. I am a one woman show, so I am trying to hold the tripod, position the camera make sure I'm not running into anything as I'm showing you the walk in these shoes so sorry if the footage is a little eh, not so great nonetheless as you can see I'm literally just putting one foot in front of the other there's nothing special with walking in a pair of shoes like this I promise you well thus far now we're moving on to the pair of shoes that had that little addition on the back and this really truly does help with balancing and walking in these shoes and that's why I would suggest a pair like this for beginners. These were only six inches in height so to me that's not very high but to some of you it might be but if you're comfortable walking in a six inch wedge then you will definitely feel comfortable walking in a pair of shoes like this. Now that little addition on the back does get a little funky sometimes and sometimes I do find that I'm hitting it with my feet so just be careful if you get a pair with this little addition on the back of it because that can be a little problem getting in the way but really not so much so that's why I would suggest this particular style for beginners as well as those tennis shoes I just showed you Okay, now we're moving on to the pair that I DIY by ripping off the little addition they put on the back there. And I do have to say, guys, it is a little bit different walking in this pair versus the pair that I just showed you because I ripped off that little addition. That little addition definitely helps with balance and it also helps when walking in a pair of shoes like these. So I definitely would suggest a pair like this with the only with only the 3.5 inches of walking space to somebody who's more advanced with walking in heelless heels. But as you can see, I still have no issue walking in these and I actually feel better without that little addition on the back because my feet aren't always running into it like they were before. So I personally like them better like this, but this would definitely make them a more advanced pair for somebody who wears these types of shoes all the time. Now we're moving on to those fabulous circle heels. And I was able to get a little bit better of a stroll with these ones. I don't know, I guess I started getting more comfortable holding the camera, but I tried to walk slow first and then I picked up my speed a little bit. I'm not sure if you're noticing that because the footage is so terrible, but that is what I was trying to do. These ones also feel very comfortable to walk in just like those wedge sneakers I showed you at the beginning of the video. So that is why I would also suggest a pair like this for any beginner getting a pair of shoes like this because they truly do feel like a wedge sneaker. I don't see much difference between these and that particular style shoe. As you can see, I find them very comfortable to walk in, can walk fast, walk slow, even do a small jog in these types of shoes. Okay, so this pair is terrible for walking. Oh my gosh, look how clunky my walk is. This is so not fun. Okay, I do not like walking in these shoes at all. First of all, the thing, the obstacles that I have with these shoes is the fact that they're heavy. If these weren't so heavy, it would definitely be a little bit easier for me to walk in these, but I just find, look how clunky my walk is. I don't like walking in this particular pair at all. The weight alone is a problem, but then you have the addition that they put on the back here for balance, and that gets in my way. So overall, I would definitely not suggest this pair for anybody just starting out because of the weight of the heel as well as the addition they put on the back makes it hard to walk in. Now we're moving on to this fabulous leopard print ones. And guys, it is a little bit more difficult to walk in these. Look at my calves. They are definitely working in overdrive because I'm only working on a two inch platform with these on top of the only 3.5 inches of walking space. These are definitely a little more difficult for me to walk in. And I gotta say, it was even more difficult to film while walking. Yeah, this was so not fun. Nonetheless, just be careful when walking in a pair of shoes like this and make sure that you're distributing your weight towards the back 
as much as possible. So yes, in this particular pair, you do need to overcompensate because you're being forced to be pushed forward. So because you're being pushed forward because of the angle of the heel and the amount of plat they gave you on it, you definitely need to make sure that you're paying attention to how your weight's being distributed. So here's those fabulous horse hoof heels and I'm able to get a nice little stroll with these guys, but look at my calves guys. Yeah, definitely working in overdrive. I definitely feel more comfortable walking in these shoes than standing. And as you can see, see, I had a little stumble there because when you stop, it's like you forget that you need to make sure that you're leaning towards the back. So I definitely suggest putting your weight more towards the back in this particular shoe because there is so little walking space on this shoe. If you feel that you have to be moving more, like pushing your body more forward, you're going to fall. I promise you, you're going to fall. So please, there was another stumble. So please make sure that you are distributing your weight more towards the back than the front of the shoe. That is the best advice I can give you for walking in a pair of shoes like these. Don't be afraid to put your weight on the back of the shoe. This is a well-designed shoe, in my opinion, and I will link where I got these particular this particular pair in the Mary Jane style in the description box below. But I'm telling you what, guys, I feel that they designed these very well. They're lightweight. I find them very comfortable to walk in, but as you can see, when I get to the point where I have to stand, I definitely stumble every single time. When I did that runway walk that everybody inquires about, I practiced that a couple of times so that I got my stance really good towards the end so I wasn't wobbling like I am now. Now granted, I haven't been standing in these shoes for a while, so that could be part of the issue as well. So I hope that you're finding everything that I told you in this video helpful. Now let's get into my final thoughts. Okay, so that was a lot of shooting and footage and walking and I clearly am super rusty because I haven't gone anywhere. I have not put my heels on in I don't know how long, just long enough for the photos that you guys see when I, you know, post them on Instagram or do a video of where I'm reviewing shoes, but I don't actually wear them for really long amounts of time. So it's like I had to retrain myself. Super crazy, right? <laughs> At any rate, I hope that you found this helpful. So the biggest thing when you're wearing heels is practice, 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 just with anything else. I mean, if you want to learn to play the piano, you practice playing the piano. You want to have an awesome, strong, sexy walk and a pair of heels, you practice. That's all I can tell you is just keep practicing and you will definitely get it. I guarantee that you will. I'm hoping that some of the tips that I gave you when I was showing you how I was walking them, how to stand on them, and all these various different things, I hope that they're helpful for you. But in all honesty, it's going to be different for every single person. Nobody's the same. I mean, everybody is different in how they wear their clothes, their shoes, Everything about everybody is different. So some of the tips that I gave you probably won't be useful to you, but for some people they will. So I'm just hoping that you can take bits and pieces out of what I showed you and how I walk in the shoes and, um, you know, ideas for standing in the shoes because standing in a pair of those he horse hoop hoop heelless heels is definitely more difficult than standing in a standard heelless shoe. It's definitely very different. And a little bit more difficult for sure. I mean, unless you have something to lean against and you can look a little sexy doing it, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's a difficult to just like stand there. You have to have really strong calves and you have to be used to wearing shoes like that. So just practice. I mean, you'll be fine. Some people might find it easy to stand on them. I find it more difficult to stand still on them than to walk on them. I can walk super strong, but standing still for long periods of time, it's just not something I've ever really done in them. So I really can't tell you uh, how good I am at it. I don't know. Uh, maybe I'll try that out one time. How boring of a video would that be? Standing for as long as I possibly can and my horse would feel his heels. <laughs> I don't know. I have another pair of shoes that I promised you guys I would start working on those. And those are the ballet heels. And I mean, I can sort of walk in them. Not really, honestly, not really. But um, I want to get to the point where I have that sexy, strong walk in these. And I'm definitely nowhere near that. Like, I, no, no, not at all. So, I mean, I can do videos in increments that will lead up to me finally um, getting that strong walk in those but um I'm definitely not there yet so that video will come out 
super way down the pike. I have no idea when, whenever I can master my walk and I have time to actually practice it. That's when it'll happen. Nonetheless, I hope that you found this video helpful or useful in some way. If you did, please hit that subscribe button, click the notification bell, like, share, do all those things, help other people find this channel. Thanks so much for taking the time to check this out and I will catch you in my next video. Bye! Is this right? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't touched it since I... I think so. <clears throat> oh my gosh, I'm making it worse. What's up, gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video... I don't know how to start it. So we're going to try again. <laughs> What's up gorgeous people? It's Amber. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be yet a little different. <laughs> I always say that. I can't keep saying that because they're not different. Okay.